Hello again, hockey fans. Another episode of Roll the Tape with Stillwater Senior and Player of the Year finalist Josie St. Martin, the Notorious JSM. Welcome to the YHH offices and thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. All righty, now you got to tell me about the JSM nickname. You started giggling when I called you the Notorious JSM. I think it's just your initials, but is there a story behind that? Um, yeah, well, last year, um, Coach Cash just kind of thought of it and just started calling me it. And then at first, and then like all my teammates started calling me it. And I like hated the nickname for some reason. <laughs> I was like, I don't like this nickname. But then I, everyone just kept calling me it. So it's like grown on me. And now like, like my whole school calls me it. Oh, and it's like, okay. yeah, just like it's, I don't know. It's, it's kind of out there now. now. Yeah, all right. I like it now, but. Well, speaking of sticking, let's see what we can do with our blades here, because I need help, clearly. You told me that my job, that my tape job with Mackenzie Jones was atrocious, <laughs> so I'm going to have you step in and help me out here. We're going to okay. use thick white tape today, right? Yep. All right. Yep. Let's well, get started. Yeah, like a couple months ago, I actually was taping it like here, but then one of my elite league coaches was like, it would be easier to catch passes, uh, like if you taped on your heel. So. Ooh, that's a yeah. dig at you for catching passes, isn't it? Uh, no, I think it was just some helpful advice. <laughs> but yeah, I just start on the heel. Okay. And um, I just I don't really like care that much like how far apart the tape is. Okay, so this is a little different than yeah. the video we made with Mackenzie. Who yeah. Was adamant that it couldn't be very far apart. Are you tired of wearing the Team USA jersey yet, JSM? <laughs> You've worn it three times now, a three-time under-18 team member. Does it ever wear off the buzz? No. No, it never it does. It won't, no. <laughs> Can you tell me what it's been like playing on that team three times? Players are lucky if they get to play once, and yeah. you've done it three times. What's that been like for you? Yeah, it's been... It's been amazing just like looking back and reflecting on like the past three years and just what an honor it's been and amazing experience each time. But um, I would just say like I've learned so much just playing with the different players and just learning from like my different coaches and stuff. Oh, this tape job is going to be bad. It's going to be bad? Yeah. It's not going to be up to the JSM standard? No, it's standard. not. You wouldn't go out and skate with it tomorrow? Probably not, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, yeah, it's been just all around a great experience and I'm just so happy like we like ended up on like top and you went out on top with a gold medal. What'd you think of uh, Czechia upsetting Canada in the semifinals this year? That had to be pretty cool. Yeah, that was, oh my gosh, <laughs> that was, that was really cool. We were actually like we had just gotten to the rink, so we were watching the game, and we were just like, wow, this is like about to happen right now. Mm -hmm. But What do you think that means for women's hockey in general? Yeah, well, last year we got uh, knocked off by Sweden, mm -hmm. so that kind of happened like with Canada this year. But um, it's just like exciting for women's hockey because it just shows you that it's just like getting better and better each year. So, yeah, it's just... I would say it's really exciting. It's growing so much, isn't it? Yeah. And then with the PWHL, it's just pretty amazing to see just where women's hockey's going and the new opportunities that we have. I cannot figure out how to... Plot twist. I helped Josie St. Martin with her tape job. Yeah, literally. I think that looks good. Dude, no. I this is the worst tape job I've ever had, I think. Are but... you a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to your tape job? Uh... I mean, yeah, if this would, if this like happened right here, like I would definitely have to redo it. You know what? For I, a game. I would agree with you. I think that one's a little rough. <laughs> you know what? That's okay. We're all growing as humans, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of growing as humans, fun segue. You've played high school hockey for five years now. You showed up as a super talented, I am officially out of tape, a super talented eighth grader, you stepped right into the Stillwater lineup and you excelled immediately. And your stock and your star has only risen since then. What's the ride been like showing up as an eighth grader? Now you're a senior, you're a player of the year finalist. What's that been like? Yeah, it's just, it's been like so fun. Like I was just talking to my mom about this the other night, but um, we were just talking about some of like my favorite memories, just 
growing up and how it's like, I still feel like the little eighth grader on the team, <laughs> but I'm like the senior now to all these younger players on my team. But yeah, it's just, it kind of makes me like emotional to just think back because time's just flown by and um, just all the amazing people in Stillwater that I've grown up playing hockey with. And like you were saying a little bit before, like this is like our year to do something big and we've all grown up playing together, so. Yeah, it's just been an amazing experience and ride with such great people, and I'm going to miss, like, everyone on the team oh. so much. Well, I, I can imagine. Okay, if you had the resources, do you think you could run for mayor of Stillwater tomorrow and win? <laughs> no. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that, that's an honest answer. What was it about Ohio State that won out in the end? I can't imagine you were lacking for college hockey suitors. Um, Ohio State, just right when I stepped on campus, I just like knew that I was gonna like, I wanted to go there. I just like felt like I fit in so perfectly and everyone around me was an athlete and that just like inspired me so much. So just being on the campus and seeing like all the other athletes and sports there, it's just like Ohio State is just like so good at like every sport, which yeah. is like so cool. Um, and then just for the hockey part, I mean, all of the girls were super nice and welcoming and you can just you could just see how like driven they were to get better and I got to watch them practice and work out and it was just like that's where I want to be when a perfect I go to college and the coaches are amazing and I know they're going to push me to be the be the best player that I can be and um yeah I'm just so excited and I love I love like everyone that's going there that's committed there right now or is there like everyone is just like such a good person too. So it'll be just amazing. And they're insane hockey players. So it'll just be so fun. And I'm just looking forward to playing. And then also they're in the WCHA, which is- It's the best conference. Real, yeah, the I best, mean, by yeah. By far, right? Mm -hmm. All righty, so where are we at? Where are we at? So you've got your tails here. I got a rip. Yeah. Ah! You okay. know, if I had my mom's kitchen scissors, I would be able to <laughs> cut this right here, but I'm not sure how it's going to go with these I scissors. think it'll be fine. I think we're good with our Howie scissors. Okay. You're looking for basically a machete to <laughs> chop this down, are you? Something oh, real sharp. What? A... It looks okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. What do you think my shots would look like coming off the toe here? A little knuckle puck A little action? muffin, probably. <laughs> You know, my coach used to call them muffin chuckers when they were wobbly shots like that. I don't know if we have to bleep that out, but that's okay. We'll roll with it. <laughs> the one thing that I've heard about Ohio State is that the coaching staff is a bit like, they're a bit like players. They're super competitive. Yeah. Super competitive. Mm -hmm. Was that part of what yeah. drew you to Ohio State? You wanted to go to a place where it's, you know, win or bust? Oh, yeah. For sure. Like, ever since I've been younger, I've my entire family has told me that I'm like the most competitive person they've ever been around. <laughs> just like no matter what it is, like even if I'm playing like bags with my family, like at the cabin, yeah. like I will literally get so mad if I lose. So um, yeah, I mean, that just goes with like the culture again, like they are there to win and they have a winning culture. So it's just, that was like, for, that's like the most, like that's one of the biggest reasons too. They're just super competitive and with everything, so. Gotcha. Can I take over the scissors? Yeah, you can. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna slice mine here. Are you competitive with board games too? Like, are you just a nightmare to play Monopoly with? <laughs> uh, not. I don't know about Monopoly, Monopoly, but I played Uno a lot, and yeah, <laughs> I would say yeah, I get pretty fired up. I've seen people get fired no up what. at blackjack tables playing for money. I've never seen anyone get fired up playing Uno. Alrighty, we've come to the part of the video where Josie rates my tape job. Look at that. Look at that number. Josie, how do we do here? Scale of one to 10. I'm gonna have to give that a two. You just sighed at me. Yeah, it's, oh. I, that toe is pretty. <laughs> what would you give yours then? This is pretty bad too. Okay. I would probably give this a five. All righty, a two yeah. and a five. So we didn't come anywhere close no. to hitting the gold standard of a 10. But you know what? That's okay. That's Josie St. Martin, senior forward, Stillwater High School, and a 2024 YHH Player of the Year finalist. Josie, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for having me.